So we come next to cinnamon. Um, it's a member of the laurel family, um, and this one is the medicinal variety, Cinnamonum uh, zeylanicum, which actually means from Ceylon or Sri Lanka, uh, the old name for Sri Lanka. Also known as Cinnamonum verum, which means true, the true cinnamon. There is another species in use commercially for food um, flavouring, for example, and that's Cinnamonium, Cinnamonum cassia. Uh, now, this is not the one we generally choose for uh, for medicinal purposes. So in cooking, yes, it's fine. It gives a cinnamon-like flavour, but most of the properties that we want medicinally are better presented or available in higher quantities in the Sri Lankan uh, version, Cinnamomum zeylanicum. Um, it's the inner peeled bark, sometimes called cinnamon quills, as in the picture there, that we're using, and also the essential oil of cinnamon. Essential oil of cinnamon is very strongly antibacterial, actually. It's the sort of thing uh, that we use to sort of disinfect areas. As a, interestingly enough, it's part of a, a formula that they used to call thieves' oil. And this dates back to the plague when the thieves would go around robbing bo bodies of their, uh, of their uh, valuables, their jewellery, etc. And in order to protect themselves from the pestilence of the plague, they had this blend of oils that they got from the East, from you know, exotic oils that they blend together. Cinnamon was one of these. So it's very, very strongly protective against all kinds of microbes, including viruses, actually. So cinnamon is spicy, sweet, and hot. So it's considered to be a warming herb. It's a stimulating herb, particularly to both blood and digestion. It's also considered to be nourishing. Obviously, we use it in food production, but that heat, that um, digestive enhancing heat, if you like, helps the flow of nourishment in the body. It has a very high essential oil content, up to 4% in the bark of the tree. And also uh, found in the chemistry of the plant, phenolic compounds, which as we say, tend to have antimicrobial properties, tannins, sinzelanin and sinzelanol, uh, and coumarin as well. Now coumarin is a, uh, has, has blood thinning properties. So anything that moves the blood, improves its quality, improves the way in which it's able to nourish the tissues of the body. Cinnamon is a really, really important herb from this point of view. So we, we would call it in, in, di in a digestive context, we would say that it is carminative and stomachic, stimulating, aromatic, warming, slightly diaphoretic, so this means it can help with um, sweating or making, causing you to break a sweat if you need to. It redistributes stuck energy that might be in the core of the body to, so to sort of equalize it and send it out to the periphery and by that same token sometimes to expel it through the skin. So very, very good at uh, as what we call blood moving uh, therapy. And it's also blood sugar regulating as well. It's a very good herb to include in what we might call pre-diabetic situations. And particularly if you are suffering from hypoglycemia, which is drops in blood sugar, cinnamon can actually help to, um, to, to stabilize or maintain uh, blood sugar levels.